Hey there, how's it going? I am here in Helsinki. Spring has finally sprung in Finland. Snow is still on the ground, but uh, it is at least uh, warming up. I've been here in Helsinki for just a couple of days. This is my uh, second full day in Finland, my first time to Finland. So I'm just like barely getting acquainted with the uh, city here. I'm here tomorrow and then fly to uh, the United States completing my six month journey around the world. So just getting a little taste of Finland here. And so in this video that I'm going to uh, give you a little taste of Helsinki here and also show you how expensive is Finland as you may very well know uh, this part of the uh, world of northern Europe is not cheap and uh, Finland is definitely in that same category it is very expensive one of the most expensive countries that I have been to I am staying at a uh, hostel that is just a, a couple of blocks up that way it is $35 per night that was not the cheapest hostel that was available uh, here in Finland there were some that were more in the like $25 or so range so uh, feel free to you know check hostelworldbooking.com etc I also have a private room booked for tomorrow night it is at a Euro Hostel, so it is also a hostel, but I have a, you know, a separate room. It is like $62 per night, I believe. And then I just bought some snacks at a supermarket, at K Market, just uh, like a block down that way. I have here a couple of bananas, a milk, some lunch meat, two of these. It is kind of like yogurt, but it is slightly different. It is kind of firmer. It's almost like halfway between yogurt and cream cheese but you can just eat it by the spoonful and it is amazingly delicious. And then I also have a pastry here and everything here was uh, eight euros and 75 cents. They use the euro here in Finland. The current exchange rate for the euro versus the US dollar is about 1.2. That is the euro being uh, more powerful than the US dollar. And so uh, 875 euros is about $11 US. All right, I'm going to uh, munch on my lunch here and then uh, do some exploring around Helsinki here, give you a little taste of this uh, cool city, and also show you how much things cost here in Finland. <laughs> And so here's the dorm room, four bunk beds, so eight people. Nice big lockers, excellent uh, Wi-Fi in the room, really comfy mattresses. That is the hostel, Hostel Diana Park Eratajan Puisto, whatever the heck that means. And it's definitely uh, nice and warm, relatively speaking. Warmer than it was two days ago when I first arrived, that's for sure. It snowed a little bit yesterday. And so there it says Boulevardi and Boulevarden. And here on these signs, there it says Manor Heimenaukio, which I know I'm totally screwing up. And then below that, Manor Heimplatzen. And you can see Haga and Haga. And so I think that is uh, in Finnish and in Swedish. It seems to be the case uh, with many different things, including like ingredients on things in the supermarket, etc., that uh, things are in both Finnish and Swedish. And so the central train station is straight down there a few blocks. I uh, arrived there two days ago from the airport. It cost five euros for like a uh, 45 minutes or so. Uh, train ride from the airport. It's not all that far, but it uh, makes a lot of stops, so it took longer than I expected, but a very nice uh, train anyway. And so here we got some prices. Bread, olives, and cheese, five euros, that's about six dollars chicken and avocado plate 11 euros that's about 13 dollars burgers chicken and bacon burger 16 euros normally 18 and uh so that is like getting close to 20 dollars avocado burger 15 euros about uh, 18 bucks sandwiches for 8 euros 10 euros here at koenig restaurant or maybe it's Raventola restaurant. Or maybe it's Venn restaurant. 
then menu anyway this place here and here at another restaurant so beef sirloin is 24.90 25 euros so that's like 28 29 dollars grilled beef t-bone 31.50 Salmon, $27.50. Grilled chicken for 22 euros. At Il Siciliano Ristorante. Lots of Italian restaurants. As is the case all over the world, Italian food is popular. Hop on, hop off, city tour. And a tram ticket is 2 euros 90 cents. This is the Helsingen Tuo Mio Kirko. Helsingen is Finnish for Helsinki, and Tuo Mio Kirko means cathedral. So, the Helsinki Cathedral. Completed in 1852. And it is colder than I expected it to be. There is a definite chill in the air, especially now that it's uh, sort of hazing up a little bit. And so, I'm gonna go somewhere and get warm. And check out that water. That is the sea, the Baltic Sea, essentially. The uh, town of Tallinn, Estonia is like straight across from Helsinki. I'm not sure exactly which direction, well, south. So, down there. Looks like a great day for a swim outside, doesn't it? Well, that is actually what I'm going to go do at the Alas Sauna and Outdoor uh, Pools Hot and Cold Water, which I showed in another video, straight out there. And so this is a different bay right here. And you can see like a uh, Ferris wheel there. And this right here is the Hot Springs hot water sauna experience. Not sure if it's actually like natural hot springs water. I don't think so. But there's two pools over there. Women in bikinis, not what you would expect on a day like this outside, but one of the pools is warm and one is cold. And then there's a sauna around there somewhere. Now, I don't think I'm going to bring the camera into the sauna certainly, but at least maybe um, show the pools a little bit closer. So head in, I think it is 12 euros to go in there. Puku Huone. Sauna, pools, bistro, cafe, Baltic Sea Center. Got my wristband here. All right, definitely time to find that nice warm sauna. And so uh, renting towels is an additional 850 euro and shorts are an additional 850 euro as well. Fortunately, I brought both, so uh, just 12 euros. All right, sauna done. That was intense, very hot. And here's the pools. Looks like that is the nice steaming warm one. And then I think the uh, cold one is over on the right. So definitely head for the hot one first. Not many people in the cold one. That is the cold one. And I just went in up to my waist. That was enough. Apparently this is actually uh, sea water. It is taken directly from the, uh, the Baltic Sea here. From out in the harbor somewhere, I guess not from right here, but further out where it is cleaner at least. But that water is barely above freezing. You know, I mean, you can see the uh, snow out in the water there. Um, and so, just a little bit of a dip in was enough. And I'm now heading back for the uh, nice hot sauna. The uh, warm pool there is only slightly warm. It is more like a typical uh, swimming pool temperature, not a hot tub. So, it doesn't really warm you up that much. Still, a really uh, awesome experience. And I'm feeling like 
fine now, fairly warm, despite being out in this uh, chilly weather with the wind blowing and everything. Kavi, coffee, big iso, pieni, small, three euros. Big hot dog for 450, 350 for a sausage, chicken nuggets and fries, six euros, that's about seven dollars, and fish and chips for 850. That is your cheapest, or at least one of the cheapest options here in Helsinki. And a glass of wine, 650 euros, more than seven dollars. Draft beer, the same. Cider, six euros. Suomenlina Brewery. Suomi is Finland, so that must be a Finnish brewery. Seven euros for that one. Bar open. And those are actually cheaper prices than at, you know, a lot of the restaurants around here where you will pay more like nine euros for a uh, large beer. Now I'm gonna take a break and then go find some dinner a little bit later. So that was the Seahorse restaurant. Really nice place. Definitely recommend it. And so uh, the total uh, bill there was 27 euros. However, they also charged uh, two euros for a coat check that was kind of mandatory, it seemed like. And so 29 euros then, that's about 35 bucks for just a plate of food and a uh, glass of wine. Finland is not uh, cheap, as you can see. All right. Hope this video gave you a good idea of how expensive is uh, Finland and Helsinki. Cool city. I hope to come back sometime and see a bit more. In two days, flying to Portland, Oregon. <laughs> So six months of traveling is almost over. All right, see ya.